Welcome to part three, the final video in my three-part Gmail how-to series. Today I'm going to show you how to use the powerful built-in searching capabilities of Gmail and a few of the advanced functions found in the settings of your Gmail account. So let's start out with searching. Obviously Google is a search engine and they've brought their powerful searching to Gmail and Gmail searching couldn't be easier. They have the search box always readily available for you and if I simply type in any phrase or character or person's name and then enter or click search it brings up all of the emails related to that particular search. If I want to type in golf, I was on a golf trip recently and click search my mail, any email related to golf automatically comes up. If I type in YouTube, anything related to YouTube including here's a CNET newsletter that had YouTube mentioned in it, it automatically comes up. Some advanced forms of searching, you can click show search options and it will give you some options where you can find certain things like maybe you had someone send you an attachment that you know was within the last two weeks. You can click that those options there and click search the mail. Sure enough I had some attachments in the last two weeks and they show up automatically just like that. If you want to use some more advanced search functions right in the search box, I'm going to direct you to tinyurl.com slash lgx3j, which is this address. It is Gmail's advanced search, and it gives you some of the operators and shortcuts for searching from the search box. So now let's explore some more fun and advanced things in the settings of Gmail. On the first tab, I like to increase my number of messages shown on a page from the normal 25, which is the default, all the way to 100. That way I can see more messages per page. Superstars is something we're going to talk about here in a second. If you want to add a signature to your page, they give you the option to add one signature. So you can fill out a signature here and then click the signature button to show it. If you want to go on vacation, they have a nice little vacation responder here at the bottom on the first page. So let's move over to the forwarding and pop. I don't know why anyone would want to retrieve their mail anywhere but in Gmail, but if you do, you can actually set up Gmail for free to retrieve it in any other program like Outlook, Outlook Express, Mac Mail, etc. by choosing the pop option here or the IMAP option, depending on what you're doing. If you want to forward your email, you can have a copy of all of your email coming into Gmail forwarded to any address you want to as well. But let's come over here to labs. This is where some fun can happen. Under labs, these are different features that the Google folks have come up with to make Gmail a little more functional. I'm going to scroll down to my favorite, and it's called signature tweaks. One thing that was always a bother for me is that when you reply or forwarded a message, my signature would go to the bottom of the message, and therefore it'd be underneath the previous message. But they've come up with a little signature tweak and if you enable that, anytime you reply to a message or forward a message, your signature comes under what you type, not the entire message. A very nice thing. But you'll also find some other fun options within here. You saw that I had superstars enabled on my general tab. And I'll show you how that looks here in one minute. But as you scroll through here, there's lots of other fun things that you can enable. And not only fun, but helpful as well. One other way to organize your email is using the star system. If there's an email that I want to be able to retrieve very quickly, I can put a star next to it. If I click the starred link over on the left hand side, then Gmail only shows me the messages that are starred. So all Superstars does is allow me to choose other things other than just the yellow star. And that's all it does. But it still shows up in your starred link. So that's Gmail in a three-part series. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Gmail. And if you're new to Gmail, hopefully you'll realize how powerful this system really is and how it can help save you a lot of time and a lot of grief. Have fun with Gmail.